Hello guys and today I'm gonna be breaking down Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 Episode 6 Lost in Translation Okay but before we get into it let me talk about some things first I would ask that you subscribe to the channel I am so close to getting 50 subscribers so i ask that you help me out and if at least two people subscribe i will be live this friday talking about what the actors strike will affect and speaking on the actors strike i would like to say that i support the actors and the writers who deserve the fairest conditions and this breakdown is in support of them and finally I would like to ask that you sign the petition to save Star Trek Prodigy ok let's get into it so the episode starts out with Yura doing a log with some beauty shots of the Enterprise we then get a speech from Pike and he notices that Yura is really tired and goes over to her to see if she's alright and she tells him that she hasn't got any sleep but Pike tells her they'll be done soon and he goes over to his chair as Una walks in and she then says ah I thought I missed the speech which is funny and Pike tells her she already did and it's here we learn that Pike has temporarily been promoted to fleet captain Spock then comes over to ask. Chris Y. Starfleet ordered that this space station which is a Deterum nursery be built here and Pike says that he suspects it's because it's so close to Gorn space which was a nice gentle reminder that we are going to encounter the Gorn this season and Pike orders Autogus to start collecting Deterum and so she does but Yura then starts hearing a noise and she tells Pike but she can't put it on the speaker so Pike tells her to pull up the recording but she can't find it so Yura thinks that the comm needs to reboot it so she goes down to engineering and plays a recording of Hammer telling her how to reboot the comm system but Pelia comes in and is like what the hell are you doing in my engine room and it's just hilarious and she tell Yura that Hemd was one of his best students but then quickly tells her that she's just lying because he's dead now and it's just so funny how Carol Kane plays it so well cause Pelia is just so old she's like oh yeah kinda of like how. Your grandparents just act without thinking of how they behave and just so funny but then Pelia leaves and we then see Yura continue playing the recording we then see Pike and Una talk in the hallway and Pike tells her that the former fleet captain had gone back to Earth so now Pike and the Enterprise have to clean up his mess we then see Euro enters the turbo lift and she then sees a zombified hammer which freaks her out and then they roll the intro we then see her in sick bay and Mbenga tells her that she needs to get some rest and she isn't to return to duty until she has rested up we then see Una on the space station and she orders engineers to go repair whatever system and Pelia doesn't think they should and her and number one get in a fight about this but then Pelia walks away we then see Yura having sleeping problems and she then wakes up and sees the crash her brother and parents were in but then she actually wakes up and we then see James T. Kirk beam on board and is greeted by his brother Sam they have a few drinks and Sam is upset because Kirk is so much bigger than him and Sam is his only a shadow of him but then Sam walks away we then get the scene that was shown in the ready room and we see that the power comes back on but then shuts off and Pelia had defied Anna's orders and learned that there is a saboteur aboard we then see Spock and Chapel playing 3D chess but Spock wants to tell Starfleet what is going on between them but Chapel just wants to wait to see what develops and Yura comes up to Spock to try and convince him that she isn't hallucinating because of radiation exposure because it started before she was in the nassel but Spock shuts her down and she goes over to the bar and Kirk. 
is talking to her and she thinks he hitting on her but he says he's not and she takes a drink and walks away into the hallway she then sees dead bodies and then sees herself attacking her and she hits herself but she actually hit Kirk and she has to take him to her quarters and use a dermal regenerator Kirk tells Yura that he believes her and he then goes to the Farragut to find out if anyone has been hallucinating the station's crew then finds the saboteur and Una asks for Enterprise to transport him to sickbay Yura then sees the ship goes to red alert she goes to the bridge and everyone is sucked out into space but then she's woke up by Pike they go to talk in his ready room Kirk comes in and apparently there was a guy who has been hallucinating on the Farragut they then go see him in sickbay but he attacks them and goes out into the hallway and turns off the lights and takes out some people and then goes into the nacelle and Yura goes in after him and tries to convince him to stop but he doesn't Kirk is right behind her puts his hands around her has them beamed out as the nacelle exploded and the crewman is sucked into space and it is Vesalia stunning they lose a crew member and Pike comes over to Euro and she wants to be relieved of duty but Pike says no Lan talks to Kirk and they have a good conversation and Lan still remembering her time with alternate universe Kirk we then see Una and Pelia talking and Una calls Pelia a space hippie which is just Funny we then see Kirk and Yura have a conversation and Yura tell him about how her family was in a crash and Kirk gives her a speech about death and she gets out the pad and watches the recording of Hammer and just cries and it's just brilliant. But she then realizes that there are actually aliens they can't see that are causing these hallucinations. She tells Kirk about this and goes to Sam and Sam says it possible and Yura is able to deduce that they kill the aliens in the nebula without. Knowing it Kirk tell Pike this then they get in a turbo lift go to the bridge Yura hallucinates and faces her parents and brother's death they then explain to Pike what's happening we see zombie hammer and they evacuate the station Yura orders them to fire and they destroy the station we then see normal hammer had he fades away pike tells yura that he'll deal with the consequences we then see pelia and una talk and una tells her that at the academy she gave her a c but pelia says it was because her paper was sloppy and she's only upset at her just because she's here to replace hammer kirk and sam have an apology and kirk and spock meet and the episode ends and remember everyone next week is the Lower Decks crossover see you next week.